Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Although you do not have to be fluent in accounting terminology to understand QuickBooks, it is necessary to have a basic understanding of some accounting concepts prior to entering information into the program. The first concept to discuss is the chart of accounts. A chart of accounts is a listing of all of the accounts used within your company file. You can open the chart of accounts by selecting lists and then choosing chart of accounts from the menu bar. Your chart of accounts shows the names of the accounts used by your company, the account type, like income, bank, or one of the many other account types, and the current balance of the account. There is a column called Attach, which shows any attached documents associated with the account. You can double-click this column to open a dialog box that allows you to attach documents from your computer, from a scanner, or from the Doc Center for free. These attached files are stored locally on your computer in QuickBooks. You will now examine the general account types found within the chart of accounts and how they are organized. The chart of accounts has a default sorting method. Assets are listed at the top, followed by liabilities, and then equity. These accounts are also what are shown within the balance sheet report for your company. Following these accounts within the chart of accounts window are the income accounts, followed by the expense accounts. These accounts will appear within the profit and loss report. At the very bottom of the chart of accounts window, are accounts used for non-posting transactions like purchase orders and estimates. As mentioned before, at the top of the chart of accounts window, you will see the balance sheet accounts which appear on the balance sheet for your company file. These accounts show what you own, your assets, what you owe to other people, your liabilities, and the difference, which is your equity. Below those accounts, you find the income and expense accounts, which show where the money comes from and what it is spent on, respectively. Each balance sheet account has a register associated with it. Unlike the balance sheet accounts, each income and expense account has a report that lists the transactions associated with the account. We will look at these types of accounts in more detail in later chapters, but we will now review a general list of the different types of accounts shown within the chart of accounts and whether they appear in the balance sheet or the profit and loss statement within QuickBooks. So first you have your balance sheet accounts, and at the very top of the balance sheet accounts you have your assets. Assets are what you own and what other people owe to you. More specifically, the money that people owe you is called your accounts receivable. Other assets may include various things such as checking account money, inventory, fixed assets like vehicles or computers, as well as undeposited funds from customers. Also note that when you set up your company file in QuickBooks, although checking, savings, and petty cash are all company assets, you will set them up specifically as bank-type accounts in QuickBooks for ease of use. The available types of accounts that are assets are bank, accounts receivable, fixed asset, other current asset, and other asset. Below your assets within the chart of accounts, you'll then find your liabilities. Liabilities are what you owe to others. The unpaid bills that you have are specifically referred to as your accounts payable. A liability could be a loan, an unpaid bill, or taxes owed. Also note that when you set up your company in QuickBooks, although credit cards are company liabilities, you will set them up specifically as credit card type accounts for ease of use in QuickBooks. The available types of accounts that are considered liabilities are credit card, accounts payable, other current liability, and long-term liability. Equity is simply the difference between what you have, your assets, and what you owe, your liabilities. The basic formula for calculating equity is assets minus liabilities equals equity. Equity is seen as representing the health of your business. Equity can come from three different sources, investor money, current year profits, or retained earnings, which are profits from past years that haven't been distributed to shareholders. The only available type of account for equity is the equity account type. Following your balance sheet accounts, you then have your profit and loss statement accounts or the income statement accounts. First you have your income accounts, and income accounts are used to track the income generated by your company. You also have expense accounts. Expense accounts are used to track where your company's money was spent. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.